Welcome back. I'm here with Timothy Welch, who's you're holding a book signing here coming up? Yes, it's coming up on February 29th. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about this book signing, because okay. I mean, I'm going to give you guys a look at these cards. Like, they're first of all, absolutely beautiful. First of all, since it's Valentine's Day, <laughs> and I made this for my lovely wife, Kathy, about four years ago, it's a piece of firewood, and nothing says Valentine's Day like a big piece of firewood. You know, that is beautiful. So that's for that's for Kathy? Yes. Happy Valentine's Day, Kathy. From all of us here at WKTV too. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Okay. okay, now back to I wanna talk about yeah. these beautiful pictures and paintings. They're done by you. Yes. Yeah. And okay. The, the, the interesting thing is I never drew or painted anything until four years ago. Actually mm. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's ten years ago. Okay. I could no longer work in the kitchen as a chef. Sharp knives, tremors really didn't work out too well for me. You used to be a yeah, chef? Yes. And, nice. You know, Locally? Yes. Okay. And then, uh, so I went back to school to get my master's degree for elementary ed and special ed. I thought I could be an example to the kids to show them that despite your t challenges and difficulties and things you face in your life, you can get beyond that and you can be successful and achieve. Oh. And four years ago, I was subbing in art class. Um, I do most of my subbing in Mount Markham, go Mustangs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> great kids, great Gotta staff give them a there. shout yeah. out. Gotta give them a shout so, out. Four years ago, I was in art class, and I did a picture with them. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty good, which surprised me because I was a, a C minus in art. I couldn't make a clay coil pot in school, you know? You yeah. know when you get letter grades in your report card for elementary? I was yeah. in N for needs improvement. So are you saying there's hope for me? Because I was never. There's good hope for everybody. If you practice, in, art. If you practice enough, yes. Okay. I, I've practiced, I've painted a lot. I have over 392 paintings now. Oh. In the past four years, I mean, I've been busy. Is that what you do on your free time? A lot, yeah, yeah. So, what made you want to get into art? Well, it's just I was subbing, and I did that picture with the kids. I was like, "Wow, this is pretty good," and I think I'll do another. And then I did another, and I just kept going with it. And now, I'm in the summers, I go to Clinton Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. Great market, great mm -hmm. venue, beautiful town. People are so supportive. The kids come down from Hamilton College. It's just you know, it's been it's been so nice for me over there. You know, I just love that market. It got great neighbors there, other vendors, beautiful place. And so, you know, I thought maybe I could sell some of my art, raise a few bucks and send it down the road for research. Mm -hmm. So I'm not making a ton, but you never know that last dollar might be the one that puts you over the top. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, is this um, something you do every year? Is this the first time this year this that is, you're going to be doing this event? This event is, here's the. Yeah, go ahead, take whatever you need. Here's, here's the book. And this is going to be, this is for the book signings. It's going to be in Richfield, mm -hmm. February 29th, um, 12 to 2 at the library. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so this is, this is kind of the culmination of, of my work. Okay. There's a little autobiographical thing and then paintings that I think are better ones. Okay. Yeah. Now, I want to get back to the student um, aspect of this. Like, this changed your life. Um, all this artwork changed your life. It, it did. You know, it, it's like, I'd like to say as much as Parkinson's has taken away from me, it has in turn given me a gift of creativity and pain, I think. It's kind of taking like lemons and making lemonade. It's a negative into a positive. You know, trying to turn it around and do something good and, you know, contribute to the community in a positive way. Hopefully, you know, in some small way, my pictures, my work here will be inspirational to folks and show that, you know, even though people have disabilities and maybe chronic diseases, they have a lot to offer us and they have a lot to offer the community. And we need to look for those people and search them out and utilize their assets because they can be very good for everybody involved in you know, the surrounding area and the community itself, I think. And what advice do you give your students um, being directly involved in something like this? I, I don't so much say things to them as I think I do things. Mm -hmm. I think just by me being there, yeah. me showing up every day, <laughs> trying to tripping and stumbling at times yeah. and shaking as I do when I have symptoms, just being there kind of almost normalizes it for them and it teaches them empathy. And you know, we need more empathy and that kind of understanding and tolerance in the world. It's not a bad thing. So I think in that way, I can be an example. You know, to show folks that, hey, you know, it's okay. It's okay that Mr. Welch shakes or you know, he has symptoms. Be still Mr. Welch, you know, it's all right. And hopefully through this art and, uh, you know, art's kind of my way of saying to Parkinson's, you can do things to me, Parkinson's, but I can do this. Mm 
Yeah, this, 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 is the way I, this is the way I fight back. You are the perfect example of hope for those kids. I hope so. I All do, right, I so do. February 29th, 12 to 2, yeah. Richfield Springs Library. Yeah, I look forward to seeing all the people that have supported me on Facebook especially. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a nice core group of followers. And uh, also I'm going to have an article in Green Pencil Magazine, and online by Susan Smith Romero. Mm, nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's so join, us, <laughs> join them down there February 29th.